Welcome to the second video in the series, how to use Edison Audio Editor in FL Studio, where we'll be learning how to clean up and denoise your audio to get it ready for processing. So in the last video, we learned how to record audio. Now we'll be using the audio from this tutorial as our example. To begin, we will first remove the room noise from this audio. Room noise is generally very low amplitude noise that sits in the audio recording and usually consists of fans, refrigerator hums, light wind or air, ETC. In my case, I'm going to be removing the noise from my PC fans, as my microphone is quite close to this and so picks up the noise. What I'll first do is amplify the noise to show you an example of it. Although the noise amplitude is very low compared to my voice recording, we must remember that in most cases, including this one, the audio will be compressed later, and so the background noise will also be compressed with it and thus amplified. To eliminate this, we'll be using a tool in Edison called Denoiser. This is a fantastic tool and works brilliantly. The Denoiser eliminates noise by using what is called a noise profile. It can identify exactly what frequencies are contained in the audio signal along with the noise amplitude and remove the noise from the overall signal. So, let's get started. The first thing we have to do is create a noise profile. This is super easy. So find and select a portion of your audio that contains only the noise you wish to remove. The start of the audio file is usually the best place to find this. The selection doesn't have to be very long at all. Even a tenth of a second is long enough. So when you're happy with this, go to your denoising tool, which can be found here, the little toothbrush icon. With your noise selected, right click on the denoiser tool. It will now create a noise profile. Now, select all of your audio and left click the tool to open Denoiser. So there are a few options available when we open the tool. There is a declipper, declicker and the main tool which is our noise removal tool. We don't need to use the declipper and declicker because our audio is not clipped and we will be using another technique to remove the clicks later. The clicks in our audio are mouth sounds we make between vocalizations, such as this. One of the reasons this tool is so brilliant is that it automatically set our denoising parameters for us when we created the noise profile. You can preview the denoised audio by clicking on preview, which will give you a snippet of what it'll sound like when you apply it. The first thing we have to do is create a noise profile. This is super easy. In most cases, you will not need to adjust any of the parameters. You can just click on accept. Before we do this, one more option available to us is the ability to hear only the noise that is being taken out of the signal. To do this, click here on Output Noise Only and then Preview. Remember to make sure this is not selected when you click on Apply, otherwise it will overwrite your audio file with only the noise and remove everything else. Brilliant! So that's how you denoise your audio. Now, denoising will only remove the white noise in your signal. Things like mouth noises will remain in the signal. So what we'll do now is remove those manually. Now I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just use a noise gate? Well the reason is that much of the time, noise gates will be able to remove these, however you can only set one parameter for the whole audio file, which can prove to be ineffective, as it will begin to affect some of the vocal parts too. First thing we have to do is create a noise this is super. For this reason, we'll be using what's called silencing between our vocal parts. Again, this is super easy. To do this, select the area of your audio you wish to silence. Hold the shift button and press delete. This will now replace the area you have selected with complete silence. The first thing we have to do is create a noise profile. While this can be time consuming for longer audio files, it is in fact the most effective way to remove mouth noises whilst retaining full quality for the vocal parts. Again, we don't use the declicker in the denoising tool because it also affects our vocal parts and is also not as effective as the tool should be. The first thing we have to do is create a noise profile. This is super easy. Cool, so now you've cleaned up your audio, you're ready to process it. 